On screen, Terrence Howard seems like either one of the last guys you'd think would be capable of the acts he's been seen to commit off screen. Terrence Howard's early life was no short of a roller coaster ride with only a few ups and a whole lot of downs. Let's talk about the real life tragic story of the actor. First, a bit of an overview about the actor himself. Terrence Howard has been on the radar of Hollywood for more than three decades, acting in some popular films like Dead Presidents and Mr. Holland's Opus, and his role in the television series Empire apart from being a successful singer. The actor has received several awards and nominations for Best Actor, and his songs have done well. Terrence Howard is reportedly worth $5 million due to his hard work. He gave an Oscar-nominated performance as a pimp-turned hip-hop artist in Hustle & Flow, and Howard also starred in the Best Picture winner, Crash. You've probably seen his stuff because he is a familiar face in Hollywood, or at least he used to be. Next, let's talk about how Howard was a witness to a crime his father committed. Terrence's dad, Tyrone Howard, had taken his family to see Santa Claus. While waiting in line, he met John Fitzpatrick, a white man with his wife and three kids. Tyrone was also there with his wife and three kids. Howard's father, Tyrone, stabbed a man to death with a nail file while waiting. As the story goes, an argument broke out between Tyrone and another man who was just next in line. At the time, Howard was two years old. His father spent 11 months behind bars for his crime. That's a very gruesome thing for a young child to witness. What do you think? And next, let's discuss how he cured his own Bell's palsy. In high school, Howard developed Bell's palsy, which paralyzed the right side of his face. After learning he had a 95% chance of his face staying paralyzed, Howard took matters into his own hands. He delivered electrical shocks to his face by cutting wires off his father's electric razor, attaching one end to his face and the other to a fuse box. I did that every day for five months, and then I felt the slightest little twitch inside. He said, now we definitely didn't see that one coming, did you? Up next, let's talk about his difficulties in his first marriage. Terrence has been married four times to three different women. His first marriage was Lori McComas in 1993. He faced charges of simple assault, terroristic threats, harassment, and stalking after breaking down the door of estranged first wife, Lori McComas, to whom he was married from 1989 to 2003, and again from 2005 to 2007, and punching her in the face, according to a police report. The actor later pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and admitted in Rolling Stone, she was talking to me real strong and I lost my mind and slapped her in front of the kids, and his difficulties in his other two marriages. According to reports in a 2011 divorce petition, his second wife, Michelle Ghent, alleged that the actor slugged her in the face, made repeated threats against her, and infected her with herpes. Ghent was granted a restraining order, but the couple reconciled in 2013. They split again soon after, and Ghent claimed that Howard gave her a black eye. He claimed in court that Ghent had maced him, and that he caught her while trying to blindly bat her away, but that he wasn't trying to hit her. She was again granted a restraining order. It was also revealed that Howard's third wife, Mira Pak, was granted a quickie divorce in July on grounds of irreconcilable differences. The two married in 2013. Yikes. The marriages were definitely not in his favor. Next up, his history of assaulting random people. Terrence Howard has also been to jail for assaulting a flight attendant when she asked him to go to his seat. Terrence Howard also got into a fight with a couple while waiting in line for dinner at a restaurant. The actor also attacked Tex Allen, the composer, during a rehearsal for Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Also, back in March 2005, Howard was involved in another violent incident with two complete strangers, Danielle DeStefano and her then-fiancé, Kevin fell. We're in line at Ray's dining car in Philadelphia when Howard became violent after the couple was seated ahead of him. And next, let's talk about his reputation for being difficult to work with. Howard has long had a reputation for his bad attitude. The man has even admitted to being difficult to work with. Going back decades to when he was a young actor trying to land small parts, Howard's temper would often sabotage his own career. Industry insiders have described Howard as a hothead and someone who has to be in control 
control of everything all the time. It doesn't help that Howard has a history of assault accusations. It didn't help the longevity of his career and propelled it backward. Next up, let's talk about how Marvel Studios replaced him with another actor. Howard claims Iron Man producers weren't initially interested in Robert Downey Jr. because of his past battles with drugs. In order to get execs to audition and hire Downey, Howard offered to take a $1 million pay cut. When the second installment of Iron Man rolled around, Howard learned his role was being reduced, as well as his paycheck. After turning down their offer, the role was given to Don Cheadle. Howard says he called Downey 17 times the first day and 21 times the next. Marvel Studios denies Howard's version of the story. Up next, let's discuss how he was blackmailed by his wife. Terrence Howard has claimed his ex-wife blackmailed him with potentially career-damaging photos and videos. The actor had the judge reverse his generous alimony agreement with second wife Michelle Gent. Following their divorce in 2011, the 46-year-old agreed to pay her $5,800 per month as well as 21% of anything he earns, over $62,500. It is alleged that the only reason he agreed to such a generous payout was because Ghent was using naked photos and videos of him as leverage. Next, let's talk about his secret divorce. Despite appearing happily married and welcoming their first child together, son Kiri Love, in June 2015, it was revealed that in August of 2015 that Terrence Howard and Mira Pak had secretly called it quits. According to court documents, Pak filed for divorce in March 2015, citing irreconcilable differences and claimed that she and Howard had actually split up back in August 2014. But they weren't just keeping their divorce under wraps. They were acting as if they had never parted ways. In fact, no one would have known of the divorce at all had it not been for a court proceeding between Howard and his ex, Michelle Ghent, in which Ghent's lawyer referred to Pak as Howard's ex-wife. Up next, let's talk about how his role in Empire was cut down. Howard's role in the show Empire was scaled back because of divorce drama and numerous prior allegations of domestic abuse. Howard's off-screen drama had become hard to ignore. He'd been involved in a bitter battle to have his 2012 divorce settlement with his second wife, Michelle Ghent, overturned. Allegations of domestic abuse from his first wife, Lori McComas, and ex-girlfriend Mei Seng Yang had also come back to the spotlight then, not to mention a secret divorce from his third wife, Mara Pak, which made headlines. However, the producers of the show denied the scaling back of his character and how Howard was not able to pay his rent for months. Howard moved into the apartment in November 2011 but didn't pay rent for months, and he continued to stay in the apartment even after his lease was up in November 2012. He's just another deadbeat. He owes about $55,000 said lawyer Lawrence Wolf, who's representing the landlord of the West Broadway apartment where Howard lived for months without paying rent. Wolf said there was no dispute or argument between Howard and the landlord. Finally, let's talk about his troubles with taxes. Terrence Howard was also reportedly being investigated for criminal tax evasion. According to court documents, the federal government was interested in possible financial crimes allegedly committed by the Empire star, his third wife Mira Pak, and Universal Bridges Inc., a company reportedly owned by Pak. It was also reported that Howard was hit with a tax lien for $143,000 $538.61 by the State of California Franchise Tax Board. According to the outlet, the lien stems from taxes Howard reportedly owes from 2010. Howard was also hit with tax liens from the federal government back in 2010 for $1.1 million and in 2006 for over $600,000. In his entire career in life, he's faced many troubles. <laughs> Let's see how his path towards redemption goes and if he makes a comeback as an actor. That that's a wrap for this video. Did you know about any of the details before or did you just find out? Either way, let us know if any of them surprised you in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.